today we are going to talk about the world's most powerful leaf blower and here it is just kidding that's nothing the world's most powerful leaf blower is actually a back backpack blower and here it is come on that's right the echo pb 9010t it's a it's a backpack blower the thing is a beast which is why i got it all right so a little backstory i used to uh I used to have a lawn vacuum by DR, and we put it on the back of my lawn mower. We sucked up all the leaves. It was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I have a gigantic yard. It's over an acre. Uh, the whole thing is over two acres, but the part that I clear of leaves is about an acre. So I had that leaf, leaf back. But then I switched from a, a gas mower to an electric zero turn mower. Don't tell anybody. So the problem with the electric mower is that I can't really use uh, my leaf vac. So I said, hey, what am I gonna do now? I went all out. I went with a professional grade Echo. Now I'm a steel fanboy. I got the combi system. I got all the saws. I got that little leaf blower. But after consulting my friends that are professional lawn care guys, they said, listen, we love steel too. However, if you want the world's most powerful blower, the best backpack blower, you need to go with the Echo. And I did. It comes in at 79.9 cc's and it retails about $630. So it's not something that you'd get if you just have a regular yard. This is something for either a professional lawn care or if you got a gigantic yard or if you just want to ball out, all right? If, if you want to have the best of the best and you don't care about overkill, this is the thing to get. Come on in tight, all right. So as you can see right here, it's the X-Series. It's the X-Series PB9010T. Most people call it the Echo 9010, uh, but it does have a nickname, The Beast. And there's a reason for that, because it's just so damn powerful. A lot of the other, uh, for example, the Steel, they, they usually rate, and this, I haven't tested this myself, but upon research, there's different ways to test how powerful a leaf blower is, all right? So a lot of them test right here at the beginning of the joint, and that's where they put the, uh, the wind rating testers. Uh, it's a lot more powerful here than it is down here, all right? So it depends on whether you put the tester here or at the end. Echo puts it at the end, that means it, it goes through everything, all the kinks, all the joints, all the shaft of the leaf blower at the end. The thing comes out at over 220 miles an hour. Uh, but you don't have to take my word for it. Let's see it in action. All right, so let's start this up. One bad thing. You will need a pair of these because the thing comes in at over 100 decibels, and that's bad for your hearing. Um, I have hearing loss anyway from the military, so I'm going to wear these, all right? Come down here, you can see it's got, here's the, the tank for the gas. It's a, it's a two stroke, so you need a mixture 50 to one oil. Underneath, that's where the uh, primer bulb is. Here's the, thro uh, the choke. And up front, you got this handle. The off position is all the way up. You just click it down just a little bit. Prime the bulb. Put it, put the choke on then start pulling, all right? All right, take the choke off. It's a little heavy, but it's worth it. the leaves last week we had a big win brought the rest of the leaves down this is what we got left uh, let's see this in action I'm not even putting the throttle on start to blow. but look at it
I'm telling you, this thing's a beast. If you need big power, go with the Echo PB9010T. It might hurt your back, but you'll look really cool blowing the shit out of leaves. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs>